Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy, so glad you are here. Today we are going to take a look at the rest of January. What does Spirit have for you? What is the message that you need to hear about the rest of January? January. Feel free to join my tribe here on YouTube and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would love for you also to comment below and tell me how this resonates for you because I always want to know who I am reading for. So I've got the Knight of Swords here to start us off. There is some news coming in for you, Aquarius, and maybe this already has happened for you. Maybe it hasn't yet, but there is some swift changes happening in your life. Lots of changes, and it all starts from one message. I'm feeling like this is the start of more. This is the start of changes that you've been waiting for. I feel like you have been in this energy of the moon here, not knowing what is ahead, not knowing what to expect, going through a bit of a challenging time, a bit of a dark night of the soul. Maybe you've been going through some healing. Maybe you have been just feeling like you're in the dark. And I feel like everything is changing for you with this Knight of Swords. It's like everything is changing for you. Literally everything. I'm feeling like this is everything <laughs> changing for you. So like I said, this energy could have come in for you already, but there's some sort of message here that is coming in that is going to change everything. Now this could be in a love situation. You could be meeting somebody. You could be coming into union with your person. It literally changes everything. Or this is you coming into what is soul aligned for you. Making a choice to follow your heart and whatever your heart is telling you. This Knight of Swords can also be you making a decision to go after something that your heart has been wanting you to go after, making a decision to advance in a project or a relationship or go in a new direction, but it's literally changing everything for you. So it's either a message coming in for you or it's you making a decisive, uh, like a decision. You're, you're moving in a decisive manner. So I feel like you've either, like I said, made a decision and you're just like forward movement in a real decisive manner after a period of unrest, uncertainty, not knowing where to go, what you're doing. You maybe have been in hermit mode where you have been working on yourself and you've been sort of isolated for a while. Let me see about that. So I've got the Five of Swords here, and I feel like you've had one challenge after another in that moon energy. I feel like you really have just felt like life has not been fair, and you haven't been able to see your way forward. You're just filled with so, uncertain, so much uncertainty. Now, I do feel like this is past energy for most of you. You're feeling that uncertainty, and it's got you in your head a little bit, and it's got you worried about the future and worried about what is going to happen in the future. So when this news comes in for you or when you make this decision, it's like you are full blazing it all in a new direction. Like this is taking you in a new direction. Could be moving. You know, this is movement energy. It's very fast, unexpected energy moving in a fast, fast way. So it's like maybe you've been stuck and suddenly the Wheel of Fortune comes in and changes that energy and it's sudden movement here too. So things are suddenly changing for you. I would love to hear what this is in the comments below. I have the Ten of, of Cups here, so I feel like this very well could be a love situation, but it also could be you just going in a new direction that is so much more fulfilling than what you've been in leading up to this, this change. So I've got the Judgment here, and Judgment is a card of change as well. And I feel like you've been in this Knight of Pentacles energy just waiting for this cycle to close, you know, waiting for things to change, waiting for cy the cycle to close. Maybe you've been working on something specific, that, that uh, Pentacle, maybe you've been working on something specific 
And it could be that you've been working on yourself. It could be that you've been working on your healing. It could be that you've been working on some sort of project and you've been just showing up, doing the work every day. Maybe you're waiting for it to take off. Maybe this is a new business venture and you're waiting for it to take off and it's been very, very slow. Well, things are about to change, okay? You've got, you're in your head about this because of how slow it is it is going. It's put you in your head and it's made you very wor worried that things are not going to turn out the way that you um, were hoping. I have the death card here. Now the death card is a cycle closing. You know, this is something coming to an end. Now I want to tell you it's, I feel like it's your thinking, you know, this feeling stuck energy and this energy of like overanalyzing, jumping to conclusions, feeling stressed and worried. First of all, the universe has got you, okay? Secondly, you've had to develop patience for a reason. You've learned something in this process, and it's time for you to let go of thoughts that don't serve you, of thinking habits and behaviors that don't serve you. You know, it's time to let go of all that stuff. Let's leave that in the past. January is marking a brand new beginning. It's marking a brand new chapter. You're, you are in your new beginning, even though it may not feel that way. And you're feeling strapped and you're feeling stuck and you're feeling like, is this going to pan out? Am I going to have success in whatever this is? This could be love or money. This I feel like this is some sort of project you've been working on. It's time to put in the past any thoughts, any behaviors, any people, any anything that doesn't serve you, that makes you feel more stressed, you know? Your thoughts don't serve you sometimes, but you can choose your thoughts. You can choose to say cancel in that moment that you feel a thought coming on that stresses you out or worry or fear for the future. Cancel it. Remember that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Say it <laughs> three times, Aquarius. Cancel, cancel, cancel. If you catch yourself in these negative thinking patterns, cancel, 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 okay? We're putting that in the past. We're closing that old cycle. And I feel like you are, if you feel like you're still in this old cycle and feeling stuck, I feel like we're just right at the end, the tail end of closing that with that death card. And in the heart of your spread, I've got the king of pentacles. This is where you're headed. This is success. Now he's holding a, a pentacle. So I feel like this is money. You're manifesting, this is maybe a business that you're trying to get off the ground. Maybe you're feeling stuck in a business and you're you're working so hard to create success in your business, or maybe you've been working towards a job promotion and you haven't received it yet. Well, the Wheel of Fortune says that you are going to receive it. The Knight of Swords says that there is some sudden news that is going to absolutely rock your world. This is going to change your life. And the heart of the spread, the King of Pentacles says, success is in your future. What you want wants you more, in fact. What you want wants you more. Success is in your future. Everything the King of Pentacles touches turns to gold. And we are in this Capricorn energy right now for a few more days. But this is very Capricorn energy with that new moon that we had, Capricorn new moon, manifesting on 111, everything is coming together for you and you are just having to have patience while it unfolds, while it turns to gold, okay? Everything that you touch turns to gold. You are showing up here as the King of Pentacles. You're showing up here with all that Capricorn energy and, every, and you are using that energy to create something magnificent, okay? And I'm telling you it's magnificent because I have the sun and the wheel of fortune and the ten of cups. It's magnificent. Fortune is on your side. Destiny is on your side. Favor is with you. And the happiness of the sun is right on the other side of the moon that we saw earlier. The sun is on the other side of the moon. So the rest of January, I'm feeling like things are coming to fruition that you've been working towards. You're going to see movement and you're going to see unexpected fast movement. 
Get ready to be very busy. Get ready to be in the spotlight. Get ready to have your dreams. Your dreams are being fulfilled. And it may be one dream at a time. It may be one step at a time. But you've got success here. You've got um, the end of that challenging cycle here. And you know this because you've also got the Queen of Swords. You know this because you know deep within you that you are worthy and deserving of this success. Whatever this is, it's coming to fruition. It's going to start here in the next, you know, the rest of January. You've got something starting the rest of January that's been a long time coming towards you. But you've got two cards of sudden change. Expect sudden change. Expect the unexpected. You know your truth. Stand in it. Be confident. Be confident that you were created for success. And whatever this is that you've been working on, you success is your outcome. Okay? Success is your outcome. Now, for those of you manifesting love, I mean, I have got it here. Love that is amazing. And this may be the message that you receive that changes everything for you, Aquarius, is you might be coming into alignment with your person. Now, this is a deep, deep, deep soul connection. This is a person that is unlike any other. This is a connection that is unlike any other. This is your big fat yes. This is the one that checks all your boxes. This is the one that makes you so happy and you make them happy. This is your person. And if this is not love that you're manifesting, this is something that is so aligned with you. This is something that was made perfectly for you. So this could be your business or your project that you're getting off the ground because it came from you. You feel connected to it. You feel a deep, deep connection with it. And this is just more uh, confirmation that it's coming to fruition. Stand in your truth. Say cancel, cancel, cancel to any thoughts of negativity, of lack, of getting, you know, getting um, impatient. I've got the Queen of Pentacles here to go with our King. I'm telling you, some of you are coming into alignment with your divine person. Yes, and you are closing this cycle of waiting. You're closing this cycle. This cycle is more than waiting. This cycle is burdens and heaviness and, you know, overtime working, burning the candle at both ends. This is stress. This is carrying burdens that are not yours to carry, just working so hard and coming so far. You're ready to close this chapter. You're ready to start something new. You've been working hard at something and you are, have been watering the seeds. You've been showing up for yourself every day. You've got success coming. I'm telling you, look at this. We have a divine match here. But they, they are the wealth king and queen, if I can pick up Mr. King over here. They are the wealth couple. This is success. This is full on success. <laughs> Everything they touch turns to gold. They are working on something specific, both of them. So you may be part of a power couple, that you may be embodying both of these. The divine masculine, divine feminine coming into your power, your most powerful you ever, and creating success. Don't give up. Don't give up. Be confident. Have courage. Have strength. You've endured a lot and you're at the end of this struggle phase. You're at the end of this challenge that you've been going through. This cycle closing has been a challenge to close it. And so I feel like, yeah, it's been it's been heavy for you. But for whatever reason, you had to wait for divine timing. You had to wait for this perfect time. You had to wait for this perfect time for this change, for everything to come together for you. Trusting the universe, you know. Let's get you some advice. Aquarius, advice for Aquarius the rest of January. Aquarius. You air signs are, I think, my biggest supporters. So I decided to start with you. I've got improved... Ooh, there's something better coming for you. I feel like this is a surprise. This feels like a surprise. That Knight of Swords, I feel like, is a surprise. And this is what I'm getting from this. And you're just, you've been waiting. You've been having patience. Just 
keep having patience because it's unfolding. It's unfolding. I've got improving health here and I have you are ready. Just wait. You are ready. Whoops. You are ready. As I was saying, Aquarius, you air signs are my biggest supporters. You guys, I have I have more of the more views on my air videos than anything else, so I decided to start with you for this new zodiac series. Get ready because it is coming in, but I feel like you're going to get a surprise. And it changes everything. I have forgiveness here, so make sure you're not holding any unforgiveness or any bitterness towards any, anyone or yourself. Know that your situation is improving. You are connected to the light, okay? The light is with you. You are co-creators with the light. You can trust the light. The light is the universe. The light is the sun coming in, shining the light in your situation, changing things, moving things. You're waiting for this divine connection that's coming in, this divine uh, news, this divine situation, this divine success, whatever it is that you've been working towards. Oh my gosh. I feel like there I feel like what's coming for you even though you know what you've been working towards I feel like it's so much bigger than you think with all these cards the 10 of cups and the wheel of fortune plus the sun and the lovers it's bigger than you think you may think you have a goal in mind I feel like that's just the tip of the iceberg for you so get ready Expect the unexpected every day. Cancel, cancel, cancel any overthinking or overanalyzing. Get out of that negative energy. Get ready for your sun. And let me know when it comes and if it has already. I want to hear in the comments below who I'm reading for, what you're waiting for. Tell me everything, Aquarius, okay? I'll see you in your next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button on the way out if you, didn't, if you don't mind. I appreciate it.